Hey guys, uh, this is Alan here, um, obviously. Just wanted to, I guess, create a video to give you a quick update on what's going on with me and where I am. Um, for some of you, it's been a while that I've been in touch, or maybe just through circumstances have lost a little bit of contact. But anyway, just want to give you a quick update. I am now living in uh, a little town called Neptune Beach, Florida, and working uh, in Jacksonville. Um, as many of you know, uh, when I left Korea back in 2013, um, I thought my life was going one direction and um, it kind of turned on its head and, and went a different direction. And um, I guess one of the reasons I'm making this is just to um, encourage those of you out there who uh, maybe your circumstances don't seem to be matching up with what you thought or even what you wanted, um, you know, just want to encourage you that uh, in the midst of all that, the Lord really does have purposes and plans. And and uh, when I look back over the last um, year and a half, uh, it wasn't easy. I'm not going to you know put on this fake front and tell you that, that the last year has been easy. But I will tell you this, that um, God has been so faithful through all of it. Uh, even in those moments where where I just felt like I didn't know which which was way was up. God um, was there and present and real and working, and so um, I'm so grateful over the last year to have been able to continue uh, with the music ministry, and the Lord opened uh, many uh, new doors for ministry. Um, I'm so grateful for that. So if you're one of the pastors or churches that um, invited me to come in and share uh, in, in 2014 um, or 2013, thank you so much. Um, that has been a tremendous, tremendous blessing, and so I'm, I'm excited for um, even more opportunities that the Lord may give me in the future for that, but thank you. Thank you so much for those invitations, and I hope uh, we can do that again sometime real soon. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm, uh, I'm living in Neptune Beach. I'm working uh, at a school called Providence School. Um, it's a school located in Jacksonville, Florida, and I'm teaching uh, Bible there to juniors and seniors, which was quite a change because I had been working with middle school for quite a long time in Korea and to make the leap from focusing on middle schoolers to working with kids who are just about to graduate high school that was quite a, a, a different well it's just a different thing and uh, and so I'm having to relearn some things as I go um, in addition to that um, I'm back working with American kids which is is quite different um, after being with Koreans and international students for, for about 10 years. Um, God is good. I'm, I'm grateful every day for the opportunity I have to minister here. Um, really enjoying what God's opened the door for me to do. So yeah, I appreciate your prayers and your support. Um, so today, if, uh, if you are one of those people that's kind of, uh, I don't know, trying to figure out, you know, which direction life is heading, um, I'm finding day by day that it really is more about the relationship that we have with the Lord and, uh, and, and you know, growing in that um, almost seems, I don't know if this is a good, good way to say it, but it almost seems more important than necessarily where we are. And so, um, you know, I'm, I'm confident of this. If God is able to, um, to bring salvation to my soul, I think he can handle the logistics of getting me where I'm supposed to be. So uh, anyway, I'm grateful, I'm thankful, and if anybody out there is kind of in that place, I just want to tell you that hang on, um, use that time to really draw close to the Lord, and remember that the scripture does teach us that, you know, a man makes his plans, but the Lord orders the steps, and uh, every day um, I look a little more um, and see the places where he is ordering the steps. Now, I couldn't see it six months ago, couldn't see it even even a year ago, but but um, now as I'm looking, I'm like, wow, God really was ordering my steps, even though even though I didn't see it or feel it or comprehend it um, in that time. So, again, thank you for your prayers. I guess some specific things you can pray for. Number one, pray for my ministry at the school that the Lord has brought me into, that I'll be able to um, do a great job in teaching, but also that the Lord would give me opportunities to minister to the students and staff there. Um, secondly, would appreciate your continued prayers for my music ministry. That as the Lord opens the door, I'd be able to use, um, you know, that those opportunities in a way that will honor Him and, and are empowered by Him. 
And, uh, and I guess the third one would just be adjusting to life in a new city, in a new place. You know, it's never easy to move, um, especially when you move into an area where you know very few people. And so would appreciate your prayers on that as well. Um, but again, thank you guys so much. I hope that kind of catches you up on where I am and what I'm doing. Um, again, I didn't expect to be here, but I'm glad I am. And I'm grateful for the goodness of the Lord. And so uh, be encouraged, church. God is working, even in those moments that we don't understand. God bless you.